hi guys welcome to simplifying tech and programming so have you ever faced this situation where like uh, you have written all the business logic of your application but uh, there are no unit test cases or uh, your tech code is not unit tested and you are struggling to write the manual unit test cases or it is difficult to allocate extra time to write the particular unit test cases one more scenario is like uh, your organization suppose mandate for the sonar cube coverage or sonar cube test cases and uh, you don't have the time to write the extra test cases to show the test cases coverage uh, to the particular threshold uh, that's set by uh, your project or your organization and uh, you don't have time to write that much test cases that that will show the sonar coverage up to certain level okay so these two problems or uh, there are many such problems are there so for that there is one solution and uh, that solution in terms of like uh, ai tool that uh, generate the automatic uh, unit test cases for your application without disturbing your business logic so basically so it will apply the mocking kind of framework to your code and it will cover your uh, each and every subroutine of your application or each and every conditions of your application via uh, the test case, test case coverage or you can say j unit coverage in the efficient and faster way so in short deep blue cover uh, uses uh, artificial intelligence for for code to write the unit test cases and help the software teams and organization effectively to improve their code coverage and uh, quality to ship the software faster and more frequently with uh, fewer defects and uh, efficient manner so this is sample workflow that uh, where you can fit the deep blue like uh, we have the these requirements then we are writing the code then we are running the test cases and then we are running the deep blue cover in order to generate test cases and check if they match the requirements okay how does it work so deep blue basically uh, it is the mathematical reasoning and learning engine uh, powering the artificial intelligence in deep blue cover that builds a representation of your code base and captures its its behavior and then it is using directive reasoning to create unit test cases and that can serve as a documentation for legacy code okay so there are uh, like different ways to use the deep blue cover one is like a IntelliJ plugin. So by using IntelliJ plugin, so you can use the community edition that is a free edition or you can use the paid edition also. Uh, so there are different licensing available. So there are different features in the paid version than community version. Then there is a deep blue cover CLI. So you can use the CLI tool in order to like uh, generate the test cases also. Then uh, there is a CI integration. So you can use deep blue into your uh, build and deployment process that is like a ci cd pipelines there you can integrate the deep blue to generate the uh, test cases while the build is happening okay so there are advantages and disadvantages of using deep blue so if you talk about advantages then it saves the time by automating the creation of java unit test cases then uh, for a quick feedback so we can integrate this uh, with the ci cd pipeline also so it is supported by build tools mocking frameworks and coverage tools then uh, increased coverage aids in the detection of more regression bugs okay so this way like uh, it is a more advantages in order to write the general test cases there are some disadvantages so only java programming language is supported then uh, this plugin is available for only intellij ide as a plugin uh, so for other editors like for eclipse uh, we cannot able to use it so it is not a replacement for the unit test cases rather it is an addition or a supplement uh, to the your existing JUnit test cases as a result in there is an additional tool you need to maintain learn integrate and that required some level of maintenance okay so basically it supports the automatic generation of unit test cases for java programming language it comes as a plugin that could be installed on intellij or as a cli tool so basically how it works so first it will do code analysis and then after reading all your code so it will create the mock test cases so this deep blue ar writes the unit test cases and then deep blue unit test cases are committed to your code base 
so basically question coming into your mind how how should i use this ai tool to write the generic test cases so we'll cover a step by step process so first is like uh, we can install this uh, community edition plugin into the intellij idea so for other ide so for now it is uh, not available and uh, for eclipse it is available but uh, cli version only it is available okay so let's go to intellij idea and start the hands on so this is the intellij idea so first like uh, we need to go into plugin section so for that you need to go to settings file settings then like uh, you should find this uh, plugin tab so inside the setting there is a plugin tab so go to this marketplace and search for deep blue okay so this is deep blue cover create complete test cases so here it is mentioned that uh, this uh, it is automatically write the full full working journey test cases for application increase the code coverage and uh, find the regression and future code changes okay simply click on this class methods and uh, let's say write test cases so there is a prerequisite so it should work on only 8 11 and 17 version of jdk that is the compatible source code so with version uh, 18 to 20 it will not work for now there is no support this project must be built and set up using running, running test cases so now just uh, find this install icon and uh, click on this install tab okay so this plugin is installed so it is asking to restart id in order to affect your changes so just click on uh, restart okay so our intellij id is restarted so after restart so it is coming with the uh, blue home page so just click on close and you can see on the top so there is a one deep blue option is there so it is enabled now so after installing the plugin okay so here you see the plugin details and uh, it is now installed so let's click on ok and now let's start like uh, so adding in some projects and uh, working with the deep blue okay so we have lots of projects in uh, bitbucket so for demo purpose so i have created this project so inside this uh, we have some sample files that we demonstrate with uh, generating the unit test cases so we have this uh, controller and service classes where uh, there is a email controller so basically this application is to integrate uh, our email service from spring boot application like uh, we can send emails via gmail and spring boot okay so uh, download this project go here download as a zip So this is a Spring Boot Diff Blue project. Uh, so extract it here. Okay, so we have already extracted here, and uh, let's import this project uh, from IntelliJ IDEA. So go to File, Import, not Import, Open, and then uh, you have to go to this directory, Eclipse Workspaces then we have this deep blue project so click on ok so uh, let's check the compatibility with the java so which version of java it is taken because it requires uh, till java 18 version or 17 version because it requires till java 17 version so yeah so we have 17 version here so make sure that it is uh, till 17 only so let's say okay okay so now very let's verify like uh, how much uh, code coverage it is giving before uh, we are using deep blue integrating deep blue here so for this uh, i have integrated there is a one plugin so that is a easy lima so that is uh, there for eclipse only so i have these projects in eclipse also so just uh, we will verify the what is the coverage it is showing so right click on uh, this deep blue project okay so here there is option coverage ads so go here and uh, hit on j unit test 
So what it is saying? So it is saying coverage as a zero percent. So there is a no coverage so far because we haven't written any test cases. So if you go here, so there is a no test case here. Okay. So now what we can do? So go to Eclipse. So go to IntelliJ IDEA. So you can see like uh, let's reload this project. So we can see uh, so there is a controller package and there is a service package. Okay, and there is a one uh, Spring Boot main class. So what we can do? So we can generate test cases with the diff blue. Like uh, here you can see this option write test. So this will write the test cases for your uh, email controller. Okay, so click on this write test. Okay, so it is preparing. So it, these are three steps it will perform. So first it will it will prepare to write the JNET test cases. Then it will check the environment and then it will uh, start the writing actual test cases. It might take time uh, as per your uh, computer speed. Yeah, so it is writing test cases now. So if I open this, so you can see there are uh, two rest endpoints. One is send email and one is send email with attachment. So for this two uh, rest endpoints, so it is writing two test cases, send email and send email with attachment. Okay, so it is written three test cases. So you can see it is written three test cases. So let's verify this. So go to this test and this email controller test so this is generated automatically by diff blue so you can see uh, like uh, this kind of test it is generated by diff blue so it is saying like uh, test send test email so when email service send email then return this uh, this sample so it is added some sample data also okay and then uh, it is added this uh, mocking http servlet request builder then it is using mockito here so mock mvc builder dot uh, standalone setup okay perform request builder and uh, this is okay so it is mocking data and it is writing the test cases so same way it is uh, written the test case here and another test case for attachment so it is written like by using mocking so you can see here it is imported this Okay, so you can see this uh, mock MVC builder and mock MVC result matcher. So this all uh, a Spring Boot test package mocking it is doing and it is writing the test cases. Okay, so now we can write the test case for service also. So, okay, before that, like uh, we can try. So you can try to write the test cases for whole Java module. Let's see what it happens. Okay, so it is saying deep blue cover write test cases scope too broad you have chosen to write cases the following classes okay so it for community edition it will allow to write the test cases for each and every individual file okay but in the paid version so you can uh, click on this uh, broader level also like you can click on this project also and uh, you can say write generate test cases okay so for now like uh, we have to generate this test cases for this particular class so right click on this service and say write test okay so now again it is uh, starting this three process step where it is uh, prepare for test cases then checking environment and writing test cases okay so let's wait okay so what service is doing so let's click on this service so in the service like uh, creating this object of this uh, simple mail message and uh, it is directly using this java api in order to send this message okay and uh, same way so it is uh, sending email via attachment by using this code okay so for these two methods so it is writing the test cases so you can see here it is identifying two test cases and uh, it is generating the test cases for this uh, code okay so for email service also it is written three test cases so you can see this email service so let's verify this right click on this and say reload from disk okay so here email service test okay so 
uh, we have the two methods right one is a test send email and one is test send email with attachment so here it is uh, doing some mocking assert equals expect mail send successfully send mail and in another method with attachment so it is again doing uh, this uh, assert equals and uh, here like another asset equals so this way like uh, it is generated test cases for controller and service so one more uh, class is remaining so right click on this uh, spring main spring boot main and say write test cases okay so for main method it is uh, like uh, unable to write test case so it is what it is saying uh, cover was unable to uh, write any test cases uh, reason listed below so change what sort of test okay so reason is here so it is difficult to assert side effects of main method in the unit test so refactor this main method uh, with the separate uh, this 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 okay so so basically there is a nothing into this uh, main uh, method so if you can see so here there is only main method so it is saying it is difficult to assert the assert on side effect it is difficult to assert on side effects of a main methods in the unit test cases okay so for this what we can do okay so for this uh, okay so how we can generate uh, the <coughs> okay so so we can generate this test case manually so like uh, we just need to call this main method and we just need to pass this uh, uh, string array okay so go here and just write this case where it is uh, creating object of a main class and uh, this uh, we are passing just new string array okay so save this so there are certain limitations also for uh, uh, deep blue generation so like uh, suppose there is a cognitive complexity into your uh, java classes like uh, in one method so your number of lines are more like more than uh, 500 or more more than 1000 then uh, we have to divide that method into another sub methods so that it will uh, generate the test cases for that methods because uh, if uh, we give the bigger method to div blue so sometimes it uh, unable to write the test cases so we need to reduce the cognitive complexity okay so now what we can do so we can uh, generate the coverage how much it is uh, covered so let's see that okay so now let's generate the coverage so go to eclipse again so we have to use this ECL lima so see before it is a zero percent so right now we will generate again yeah so all our code that is a 295 instructions are like uh, covered with uh, generate test cases so like 95 percent uh, is generated by div blue so for one test cases for spring boot main so we have to add one manual test case okay so like this way like uh, div blue can help in order to generate your automated test cases so to conclude with so nice to see how this plugin performs and uh, generate the generate test cases automatically and the quality of the generated JNA test case in the sample projects and it saved the developers most of the time so it will not interfere into your business logic so it will just mock your uh, JNA test case and uh, it will generate it will cover all your uh, business logic into like a JNA test cases so you can check uh, the example provided in this article into so you can download at any time and you can uh, try this adaptive uh, plugin also okay in uh, subsequent session so we will cover uh, a sonar cube integration and uh, more about your application coverage and uh, generating genuine test cases like that stuff we will cover into further sessions so stay tuned for this and uh, thanks a lot for watching